Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual Tweak. On today's episode, my review of free system information tools. Uh, you can install different system information tools to get uh, different kinds of information about your computer hardware. And also my review of Mibo. Mibo is an online uh, instant messaging system. I will, I will show you how it works. And oh, Quick Mail PHP. Uh, is a service that you, you can use quickmail php to transfer your emails uh, to an rss feed and please visit virtualtweak.com to download other shows and if you have any uh, questions or suggestion please post your uh, comments in our message board or send me an email my email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com please add yourself to our frapper map we have 11 members right now and join our message board if you have any questions or suggestion please uh, post your thoughts in our message board and thanks everyone for downloading virtual tweak and welcome to the show system information tools you can download and install free system information tools uh, to get a better idea about your computer hardwares for example if you bought a HP PC and you don't know what kind of memory it is using or what kind of hard, hard drive you have uh, or, or if you want to upgrade your video card if you don't know which which kind of slot uh, video card slot you have in your motherboard you can use different kinds of um, system information tools to get that information uh, I tried a uh, couple of uh, free system information tools and I, I will show you all of them at, at first uh, let's start with AIDA32 it is a free software and uh, this is AIDA32 uh, personal system information tool as you can see AIDA32 already categorized my hardwares uh, if you want to know about your motherboard, you can click on this motherboard category or um, uh, if you want to know about your hard drive, you can click on the storage category. Uh, let's see the left side. Uh, um, it has the tree system, so you can click on the plus minus icon. And uh, let's see my computer summary. So I'm going to click on summary over here and it will show me the summary of my PC. Uh, for example, I'm using Microsoft XP Home Edition. I have Service Pack 2, Internet Explorer 7.0, and I'm using Intel Pentium 4 HT. HT means uh, hyper threading, uh, 3.4 gigahertz. And uh, my motherboard name is unknown, and I'm using uh, Intel i8875 chipset. So if you want to uh, build a new uh, PC, chipset, a motherboard chipset is very, very important. And I have uh, one gigabyte of RAM, as you can see. So these these are the basic information about my PC. But uh, let's get into the CPU stuff. And I'm gonna click on motherboard, and I want to know how much voltage uh, is my CPU is using from my power supply. So I'm gonna click on CPU, and it will show me all kinds of stuff uh, from my CPU. For example, core voltage. Uh, if you are if you want to overclock, you can add more voltage to your CPU, and um, uh, you can see the clock speed and all kinds of stuff and uh, AIDA32 has a benchmark system so I'm gonna click on benchmark memory read and uh, it will read your memory and it will show you your performance perform your PC performance against some other computers and uh, this is how it works and AIDA32 is a self uh, exe file so you don't have to install it in your PC so check it out it is AIDA32 system spec is another freeware tool that you can use and you don't have to install it in your pc because system spec runs in a self exe file so once you run system spec you have to click on the system button over here and it will read your hardware and show you um, the basic summary of your pc hardware and as you can see system spec is uh, based on tabs over here uh, i'm gonna click on cpu tab and it will pop up a new window and uh, uh, it will show me some details uh, information about my CPU for example it will show me uh, the real-time CPU speed real-time clock cycle speed and real-time CPU usage in uh, percentage and uh, let's look at the device button so I'm gonna click on device tab right now it is set to uh, drive C so my hard drive is I'm using 31 percent or 32 percent of my hard drive and what I like about CPU uh, system spec is uh, once you select your hard drive it will show you all kinds of information about your hard drive um, power count spin up time it is very important if you don't if you know uh, what it means but uh, some of the stuff I don't know but uh, it's nice to have all kinds of information about your hard drive 
and uh, so you can just select the tab you want to see for example memory it will show you uh, your memory information over here uh, what I like about system spec is you can export your uh, summary uh, to, to an X HTML file for example I'm gonna click on file export export to HTML and I'm gonna write down test and save so you can just send this uh, HTML file to your friend uh, if you need any help with your PC so I'm gonna double click on this uh, test HTML file and it will open up Firefox and uh, this is how it looks like so your friend can look at this and see how which video card you're running which sound card you're running and stuff like that so it is very helpful uh, so this is system spec uh, version 2.19 please check it out this is win audit uh, freeware version 2.15 once again this is a self exe file so you don't have to install it in your pc so once you double click on the exe file it will show you this window and i'm gonna click on here so right now win audit is reading my hardwares and uh, it will show me the basic overview of my pc uh, in a few minutes so this is my basic overview of my pc or basic summary as you can see over here now before I start playing with Win Audit, let me tell you, Win Audit is uh, mainly developed for softwares. How many software you have installed, and uh, if you want to know about your softwares, uh, Win Audit is the application to use or software to use uh, for processor or hardware uh, stuff. It is okay, but not not that good. So if you want to know about your software stuff, then uh, Win Audit is the freeware. So. For example, in the left side, as you can see, um, all kinds of uh, categories over here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and uh, I'm going to click on installed software. And over here, it will show you all, all the software you have installed in your PC. And uh, active setup, setup programs, and uh, it will also show you the install, what, uh, which date you have installed the software and which version you are running in here and you can see some error logs um, if you have any problem with your PC you can see the logs over here so this is basically for your softwares and uh, one thing I like about the win audit that uh, it has a tab for CD keys uh, for example when we install Windows or uh, uh, premium software so we have to uh, insert a particular CD keys so if you forget your CD key you you cannot install that program anymore uh, but when you install win audit you can view all all the CD keys about uh, for your soft software you have installed in your PC so you can view a particular CD key and save it to your uh, save it as a text file and stuff like that and I, I can show you my CD keys but uh, this is how it works and uh, one, uh, one the one thing I like about uh, Win Audit that you can send your information as an email to your friend, and you can save uh, your uh, information uh, to your hard drives. Uh, so uh, you can uh, upload to your web server and uh, send it to your friend. So this is Win Audit and Win Audit for softwares basically. And uh, check it out; it is freeware. Emsa uh, Professional Version 1.0. It is a freeware tool and um, you have to install it in your PC at first uh, let me start with EMSA is based on hardware information tool so it doesn't have any information about your software at first uh, in the system information tab uh, it will show you some basic information about your hard drive for example CPU keyboard uh, processor and stuff like that but if you want to know a little bit more you, you can click on advanced information tab and as you can see you can choose many options over here for example your floppy processor bios and disk drive and uh, stuff like that and emsa has a html report option for example i'm gonna click on my bios and i will click on view html report and it will open up my browser and show me um, all kinds of information about my bios so this is very nice and um, it is it is uh, totally free and you can check it out it also has a benchmark option you can uh, benchmark your cpu you can benchmark your uh, speed and uh, all kinds of stuff but yeah, i'm not gonna benchmark my cpu right now because it, it will take uh, one to three minutes to benchmark a cpu so this is emsa uh, flex info if you are looking uh, for some more information about your hardware then emsa is uh, another nice tool but uh, it is not for software information so check it out it is emsa professional version 1.0 build 125 
fresh diagnose version 7.3 it is a freeware and it is a very clean looking software easy to navigate as you can see all these are all big icons and the, the control panel looks like windows xp control panel so before i start fresh diagnose is based on windows uh, operating system information so if you want to know about your windows operating system then you can uh, use fresh diagnose it has hardware support and you can get a little bit information about your hard drive uh, hardware but it is not that great and so uh, if you want to know about your windows um, any version then you can uh, try out fresh diagnose so let's start with the software uh, system I'm gonna click on this tree icon over here and uh, you can select accessibility appearance fonts uh, libraries memories and all kinds of Windows uh, components uh, shell folders startup programs system files and stuff like that so I'm not gonna go through all these steps um, and uh, fresh diagnose has two version uh, the first one is a paid version and the second one is a free one I'm using the free one right now but you have to register uh, to their website in order to get a free registr registration code or CD key now what I don't like about uh, fresh diagnose it has a benchmark option over here as you can see but this benchmark option doesn't work in the free version so if you want to benchmark your CPU or uh, multimedia benchmark or all kinds of benchmark if you want to use this option you have to buy this software and I don't like this um, at all and um, and uh, one one thing that I like about this uh, fresh diagnose but, uh, that it has a uh, one of the best uh, report option so I'm gonna click on report and uh, you can choose what kind of report uh, you want to include in your HTML file for example uh, accessibility uh, engines environment of Windows XP and stuff like this so I'm gonna uh, uh, clear all of them and I will just select uh, for example uh, uh, let's select my partitions and I'm gonna click on build uh, and I will select my uh, hard drive and I'm gonna click on OK I'm gonna click on build and now yeah, it is ready to view so I'm gonna click on yes as you can see it is a very pretty looking uh, system information tab uh, it will also create a tab system over here so you can click on this tab and it will show you the information even it has a drop-down menu so this is very nice if you want to uh, get uh, information about your windows and little bit information about your hard drive and stuff like that so check it out it is uh, fresh diagnose version 7.3 bg info it is a freeware tool that you can use it is uh, very fun to use and uh, basically um, it will scan your pc for hardware and uh, operating system information including your uh, internet ip address stuff like that and then uh, it will publish your system information in your wallpaper and uh, it is hard to explain so let me uh, show you how it works so in this field i'm gonna select a particular um, uh, uh, field to add to my uh, wallpaper so i'm gonna select uh, subnet marks or volumes i'm gonna click on add so now i have all kinds of uh, information set up over here so i'm gonna click on preview and it will uh, show me all kinds of information in my wallpaper so i'm gonna click on preview and I will minimize this window as you can see uh, it it published all kinds of uh, my hardware and uh, operating system information in my wallpaper so you can uh, uh, show your friends and your family members your system information so it is very fun to use but uh, once you make the changes uh, you have to stuck uh, with this wallpaper so make sure you save a copy of your wallpaper into a different directory so this is bg info it is a uh, free freeware fun to use uh, let me know how it works it is time for a website review and my first review is for mebo mebo is an online based im messenger and uh, you can uh, use yahoo messenger msn google jabber and of course aim <clears throat> let me show you how it works I'm gonna use uh, Gmail so my email address is virtual tweak at uh, gmail.com and my password and I'm gonna click on sign on so how this is how it looks like and you can move a window uh, like this and uh, I'm gonna click on uh, 
this uh, <coughs> username and it will pop up this uh, little window over here it has some basic options like uh, <coughs> emotions and you can bold italic underline and even uh, pick a color for your uh, text file so this is uh, Mibo if you want to if you uh, want to chat online and uh, with your friends uh, Mibo is a nice option to have for example if you go to a library if it doesn't have Google Talk installed or any instant messenger installed then you can use Mibo to chat with your friends so I like it a lot check it out it is 25.mibo.com this is my review of quickmail php and uh, you can use quickmail php to transfer your emails to an rss feed so you can read your emails in an rss aggregator and um, it is very easy to uh, set up just write down your full email address your password and your incoming um, mail server address and uh, sadly uh, gmail doesn't work with this service so if you're a gmail user it, it will not work but if you're using your um, isp email address uh, it will work with that so this is quick mail php i was looking uh, for this option for a long time and uh, now it works so check it out uh, quick mail php so that's it everybody we played with uh, some system information tools mebo and uh, quick mail php and uh, please subscribe to the xml itunes yahoo and join our frapper map and uh, please post your comments or suggestion to uh, my blog which is virtualtweak.com and send feel free to send me an email and my email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com and uh, please let me know how you like this show and i know a lot of you guys who are watching so uh, it will help me a lot if you guys just write down something about the show, uh, any negative stuff. And uh, yeah, if you don't like anything, please let me know. And uh, <clears throat> thanks again for downloading and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.